nature is our global life support system. We are entirely reliant upon it. Everything is interconnected. It's not a philosophy. This is about the law of physics. This planet can't give any more than it is already. How can anybody possibly think that we have any more time? There's technology available, there's science available, there's knowledge available, we just have to use it. This is a story about the power of collaboration to address one of the biggest challenges facing humanity. A story that calls on each of us to re-establish our innate relationship with the natural world, to make peace with our environments, a story that reminds us that the solutions we seek for our future are in our nature. Nature has got this crucial role to play in helping us tackle the climate crisis. The greatest threat to nature at the moment is um, the food and agriculture systems. It both drives at the moment 60% of the loss of global biodiversity. It's also contributing 30% of global greenhouse gas emissions. The problem at the moment is that you can make quick money through deforestation. And if you can acquire land and deforest it, the value of that land goes up and you can sell it on as agricultural ready land. You can grow uh, your crops on it. Uh, the commodities that are produced can go into global supply chains. There's nothing to stop that happening at all. We've got to get deforesting commodities out of supply chains. It has to be made illegal to trade in deforesting commodities. No actor alone can tackle this on their own. You've got to have uh, different stakeholders, governments, uh, civil society, local communities, indigenous people, and companies come together in one and, and try to look at the problem holistically because everyone is at risk equally. And without coming together, we cannot make progress at the speed at which we need to see it. Pioneering partnerships between technology companies like Google, Descartes Labs, and Orbital Insight give us the transparency and traceability needed to protect and restore forests, the lungs of our planet. With the convergence of technologies using satellite data, we can pinpoint forest destruction and prioritize regeneration with unprecedented accuracy, helping to combat climate change. Technology is very exciting and I'm very passionate about this because it allows us to look at things in a very visual way. Google Earth Engine gives you an insight into the planet. It will take the vast array of data. That could be humidity, it could be light, it could be satellite imaging and make it easy to digest. It's giving you the visual capability to go back in time, to look at the planet, which means you can see the impact that's occurring and then go forward in time to model the future. To tackle deforestation, we need to work with partners. And the way that people attack the problem from different angles gives us layers of insight that we've never had before. The critical thing is getting that information to the right people. We want them to be geniuses of their data and answer some of the biggest challenges we have. Technology can propel us closer to a deforestation-free future, but the real revolutionaries are on the ground. To achieve true balance in the natural world, we must support and empower the thousands of farmers and smallholders working across the globe. The problem of climate change, I think, in the near term may seem remote to a lot of farmers. They're making decisions about their daily livelihoods. It's uh, things like sending their children to school. It's getting access to medical care. It's maybe their daughter who's getting married and they need to provide for a dowry. And fundamentally, their income is dependent on the production of commodities that can contribute to deforestation. Education or stewardship is very important for the people who live you know, close to this natural world to protect nature because they're the guardians. People who live there need to be able to make better choices. Decision-making skills comes with education, with knowledge, knowing what's right or wrong, not just in a traditional way, but also being able to be part of decision-making process in all levels. 
it's important to have a local voice so we all can learn, adapt and react when needed. If you're a brand, you may not know where the palm oil or the coffee or the tea or the soy in the food that you're producing is coming from. You know, there's massive opportunities around things like transparency and traceability and supply chains that technology can unlock. There is a critically important first mile between the smallholder farm and the mill or the place where the cocoa gets collected. And this is where the concept of transparency and traceability comes in. It's becoming increasingly possible to cross-check local knowledge and local understanding of the state of forests. With what we see on the satellite imagery, it's possible to show the conditions in which that crop has been grown. And that is the chance for the global market to reward smallholders for their efforts to produce the commodity more sustainably. To harness the climate solutions that nature provides, we must radically shift our collective mindset from merely observing the problem to taking decisive action. The critical thing that any business needs to do is to know what its impacts are. Businesses need to set targets that scare them. What are your carbon emissions? How much single-use plastic is involved in your business? What's the impact on water? What's your impact on biodiversity? We're not separate from nature. We are a fundamental part of it. In order to have any kind of future, what you need to do now is act. I'm hopeful simply because the solutions are so simple. These are things within our power. We don't have to finance unsustainable agriculture. We don't have to trade in deforesting commodities. We need people coming together, taking this seriously, making different decisions, recognizing that there's some really tough trade-offs that are going to have to happen. Every action we take counts. Every policy that a government adopts and then implements counts. Everything that a company signs up to do and delivers counts, and everything that you do as a consumer Counts. The great thing is the technology is as easy as it can be in the era we're in now. When we decide to stop and think about solutions and actions, remember there has to be people nature together. We are the authors of this story. Through collaboration, we have the power to drive change and choose a positive future for our planet. We must protect our forests, ecosystems, and livelihoods, because without them, we cannot win on climate. It's time to act, and we have the solution. It's in our nature. <laughs>